Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example is an infinite series of the type a times x to the n minus 1 where we sum all the terms up from n equals 1 to infinity. So that the terms look like this a plus a times x to the first plus a times x to the second plus a times x to the third and so forth and the sum can be found by taking a divided by 1 minus r. So a is the first term and r is what we call the common ratio of two consecutive terms. So how do we find the term of the following series? Well, what we need to do is recognize what the first term is and then recognize what the common ratio is. So we could rewrite this series as follows. This is equal to 5 minus 5 times 2 over 3 plus 5 times, that would be 4 over 3, Oop, not, not over 3, but over 9, minus, that would be 5 times 8 over 27, and that would be plus 5 times, you see that each time this doubles, that would be 80, so it would be 5 times 16 over 27 times 3, which is 81, and so forth. Now notice, compare this to what our general form looks like. And each time we have the 5 in front of each of the terms, so that would be 5 times 1, 5 times x to the first, 5 times x to the second, 5 times x to the third, and also notice that the signs alternate. So that means that the sum is going to be equal to a divided by 1 minus r. So in this case, a would be 5 divided by 1 minus, but now we have to find the common ratio. So the common ratio would be the ratio of two consecutive terms, this one divided by this, or this one divided by this, or this one divided by that. So let's just take these two terms and divide one by the other to get the common ratio. So we're going to take 5 times 4 over 9, and divided by the previous term, which is a minus 5, times 2 over 3. Notice that the 5 cancels out, 4 divided by 2, and we still have the negative sign, so that's negative, 4 divided by 2, which is 2, and 9 divided by 3, which is 3. So this becomes the common ratio between any two consecutive terms. You can try this for a few of the other ones, and you'll get the exact same result. So that means we have a minus 2 thirds at the bottom here. Now we have to simplify that. First of all, let's get rid of the negative sign. So this is equal to 5 divided by 1 plus 2 over 3. Find the common denominator. This is equal to 5 divided by 3 plus 2 over 3. Then move the denominator over. So this becomes 5 times 3, which is 15 divided by 5, which is equal to 3. So the sum of this infinite series is equal to 3. And that's how it's done.